it's frustrating. You try to ignore this stuff, like, but Josh is going into year seven, and there's still the naysayers. I don't get it. Um, if I was going to use rated, I would say underrated before I would say overrated. And I know I'm biased. Um, he's our guy, and um, love him every single day. These things that come out there, I know people love the rankings of whoever, but when you don't put your name to it or and you make comments like that, like, who is this executive? Executive is a loose term. I was probably referred to as executive well before I should have been. And so I just say if you're not going to put your name on it, we really shouldn't validate it. I know it gets validated because it's on ESPN and um, – you know, I'm not a fan of that style, and, you know, I wish I wish the writer um, wouldn't include a comment like that. I just I don't think Josh deserves that. And, again, I'm biased, but uh, I'm tired of hearing it. Why would you think anybody would think that? I mean, I know you can't put yourself in the guy's shoes. What would lead anybody to believe that he's created, given what he's done? Sal, there's idiots everywhere. Ooh. I mean, right? I, you know, I don't know. I, I, till you put your name on it, I don't know. I just, I think he's done plenty. But it, I think part of it, Sal, truthfully, is there are people that did not, we all are well, well aware when Josh came out, there are people that thought he was a bust or would not make it for all the reasons that they've listed over the years. And I just think anytime someone thinks they got a crack, they're going to say, see, I told you so. See, I, they're looking for things. You can look at any player in any sport and point out negatives. No one is is God or a robot. But Josh's p positives don't even come close to the negatives. And so for what he's done for this team, for what he's done in this league and his own accomplishments, to p say he's overrated and to point out a flaw here or there is – it's ignorant. As much as you don't like the comment, knowing what Josh is made up of, how much does it might help? Maybe not even help, but just as a reminder that there's still some people out there that think this. Yeah, I mean, the good thing about Josh is he's always felt the naysayers. I don't think there's a year in the league that I know of where someone doesn't want to point out something with him. I mean, even going back to – some of his early games is either a rookie or second-year guy. He would make plays in a game, but if he made a, an, you know, a dumb throw or you know something like that, he could have helped us win the game. But that's the highlight or low light that they want to show because that validates, you know, their their thoughts and views on him. I, I don't know. Again, we've ignored it for so long. It's, and I think the local media, you guys have all see Josh and realize not only is he a hell of a player, how great he is in his role. It's so hard to be a quarterback and, and have his status. And he stays after and signs every freaking autograph. And, and he just – he's perfect in the role. We're lucky as hell to have him. And I get frustrated with it. But Josh has a – he's got a natural chip, John. And I don't think whether this – person said this would change that I think he's coming in this year with a chip he wants a title he wants it every year that we we don't win it it's it's digging a deeper chip and I think that's what motivates him